Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Calling Phragmites australis the common reed really undersells its pervasiveness. The up to 6 meter tall wetland grass has been vexingly ubiquitous in North America since a European subspecies was introduced in the 1800s and spread widely and aggressively. In fact, the plant is so tenacious in wetland habitats that it chokes out native North American lineage of the species, sometimes considered a separate species dubbed P. americanus, as well as many other native plants, lowering floral species richness by almost threefold and pushing out specialist. Despite decades of research, one enduring mystery is why the European lineage is so invasive in North America when its close kin have existed on the continent for millennia without taking over wetlands. Genetic studies have revealed tantalizing clues, including ploidy levels in the European lineage ranging from 2 to 12x and higher. But genetic investigations into the European lineage's invasiveness have been hindered by the lack of a high-quality assembly to use as a reference. That changed on November 28, with the publication of a reference genome for the species in molecular ecology. According to the paper, many of these genes are transcription factors that could provide novel genetic material for selection to act facilitating its potential as an invasive species. The team also generated transcriptomes for invasive and native individuals and found striking differences in BASA. That may lead to the invasive plants being primed to respond to pathogens and other biotic stressors, making them better able to outcompete their unprimed kin, particularly in disturbed habitats. Many questions remain, including whether ploidy plays a role in invasiveness, the genome assembled was functionally diploid, and to what extent the genetic and genomic differences between native and invasive reeds can inform management strategies. The authors write that the assembly will serve as a genomic foundation for development of new management approaches, noting that it specifically opens up the possibility of using RNA interference, RNAi, to knock down the gene or genes giving the invasive lineage an edge. They also note that more research is needed to identify RNAi targets and test any such control technologies developed, particularly when it comes to their effects on the native Phragmites lineage. Runners up. Big berry manzanita, Arctostaphylos glauca, manzanitas are iconic shrubs endemic to western North America that fill pivotal ecological niches in their homeland's fire prone landscape. A Hawaiian long jawed spider, Tetranatha cowinsis, few high quality spider genomes exist despite the group's size, more than 50,000 species, and ecological diversity. The genome sequence for one of the Hawaiian long-jawed spiders, T. cowinsis, published in late November in Genome Biology and Evolution, may help explain the many mysteries within spider DNA, including extreme variations in genome size between species, perhaps driven by transposable elements or a. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.